What is up guys and welcome to today's video. Today we are on the alt account testing out another monster to see how much money it makes on the alt account after testing it for 3 hours. If you are unfamiliar with this series, we first made this account to achieve 77 slayer to be able to do brutal black dragons for money and we achieved that in 5 episodes. We then decided to turn it into a rune dragon alt account and are currently still doing that series. We have already tested out many slayer monsters in game to see how much money they make on an alt account so if you are interested in that and the other videos as well. Well, check them out, they are in the description. We are now moving on to testing all the monsters and bosses in game, and I've already done a few monsters in this series, so if you are interested in these as well, check them out, they are in the description. The way I choose which monster to test is based completely off of what you guys vote for in my community tab. Last week, there was actually another tie, which is actually the second time this has ever happened. Due to not having a way to break ties, I just decided on which monster I wanted to do. I decided on Ents instead of the Revenants, because a few people did comment they didn't want me to do the Revenants and I am actually more curious about the Ents personally. We will be doing the Wilderness Ents, but if you guys want me to do the Woodcutting ones in the Woodcutting Guild, I can do those in the future as well. There's a new poll posted now, so go over to my community tab after you are done watching this video and vote on which monster you want to see. Also, comment below any monsters you want to see me test so I can continue to put monsters that you tell me to put. Before I tell you guys my account stats, there is critical information you must know. 89% of you guys watching this video right now are not subscribed, meaning only 11% of you are subscribed. We were lowering this number, but it has recently shot up quite a bit. In order to stop this from getting any worse, please consider subscribing right now so you continue to see my content and help us change these numbers for the better. My account stats are 82 attack, 83 strength, 82 defense, 85 range, 70 prayer, 71 magic, and 84 hit points. The gear I'm using is for meleeing the Ents. Now I could safe spot them with range, but I will only do that in a future videos if you guys ask me to do it. So if you want to see a ranging version and a safe spot version of this, let me know in the comment section. I'm using the Helm of Natus Knot the Amulet of Glory, the Guthix Blessing, the Ardoin Cape. Now I could use the Mage Cape, but I haven't bothered to get that yet. I'm also using the Whip, Black Dehyde Body, and Chaps to tank peak hairs because we will be in the Wilderness. The Dragon Defender because supposedly you don't lose it below 20 Wilderness, so let's hope that is true. Rune Gloves, Dragon Boots, and the Lunar Ring. I'm using the Lunar Ring because I don't have any Diary Rings on this account, and the Ring does give us some magic defensive boosts, and I couldn't think of another Ring to put there since we will be using the Glory to teleport to a bank. In the inventory, we have a Super Strength potion and a super attack potion, two super restore potions, a ton of ceradome and bruise, some sharks to combo eat, a rune axe to chop the ends after killing them, a stamina potion, a burning amulet to teleport there, and six empty inventory spots. I am leaving six empty so I don't have to drop the food in order to cut down the ends and get the noted wood in my inventory. The ends have a weird mechanic where the logs won't go into your looting bag and you have to have one empty inventory space even if you have all the logs already pre-noted in your inventory. Now that I am ready I will show you guys how to get there. Now I have actually never been to the ends that I'm going to. I used to use the ones outside of Corporal Beast, so that is another method you could use, but I think there's actually higher traffic there due to PKers kind of using that teleport to run the areas. So I'm going to use the Burning Amulet and teleport to the Chaos Temple. It is level 15 Wilderness, so do be prepared to get PK'd. Once you're here, immediately run to the southwest because there is the, oh god, okay, whew, that was a PK. There is the Chaos Temple right there. So sometimes people are there and there's some PKers there or there's people training on the Elder Chaos Druids. But basically we're going to run around the bottom section of the Chaos Temple. I'll pull up the map right now. So this is where we are running and I believe they are just directly to the east of this area. Like I said, I've never been here, but I think they're right over here. And if you do have range, you can actually safe spot them. And so I'm kind of confused why I'm choosing not to safe spot them. But if you guys ask me to do it, I'll do it in the next video. Okay, so this is where they are, so I'm going to run into this little tree area, pot up, and then start attacking them. If I find that I have a full inventory and I don't want to stay here because I'm scared of getting PK'd with a full inventory, um, and a full inventory, it won't be my entire inventory, but if I'm starting to eat food and that kind of thing, I might go ahead and bank. But otherwise, I'm going to try to camp here the whole hour and see kind of how that goes. But I will be back after, well, actually, I'll show you guys how to chop this tree down. So once I kill it, I'll show you that, and then we'll move on with the video. All right, I'm actually chopping the tree while getting attacked. I'm kind of curious if this is going to work. So basically, when you kill the ant, they turn into this ant trunk, and you just chop it with an axe. Okay, so I still get the wood, and then you get wood. I think it's leveled on your woodcutting level, but in the next clip, I'll go ahead and tell you guys what it is, because I am going to go ahead and continue chopping this, and then I'll kind of explain. I do believe if you have a higher woodcutting level, you get better logs, but I'm not positive. So I did look it up. Ooh, a bird's nest. So I did look it up, and we go. We do actually make 
more money if we have a higher woodcutting level because you'll get higher tiered logs. I'm going to assume you only get it based on your woodcutting level and I only have 55 of woodcutting so that means I will not get anything higher than the maple logs. So maybe I will do a comparison on the main because I do have level 70 woodcutting on the main and we will see how much money it is worth on there compared to this account. We are just under 12 minutes in. I'm actually going to bank and just bring back monkfish because I don't think it's worth eating these brews and uh, not eating them but sipping them and then eating the sharks i think i'm going to lose more money than i'm going to make especially since my wood cutting level is so low but the money we've made so far in this 12 minutes has been this so we're not making very much money at all so i'm going to go ahead and go bank i'm going to use the edgeville teleport and then i'm going to come back with some monkfish and then continue to kill them okay we have now reached an hour the loot tracker actually doesn't track this so i've just kept all the logs in my inventory but here is the logs and the amount of money we have made in one hour. So we have made 26k. I think we've got like three birds nests. So that'll probably only be like another 7 or 8k. Maybe 10k if I'm lucky. Maybe we'll get a good seed. But regardless, 26k in an hour is not worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys right now. Ents at 55 wood cutting is definitely not recommended or even worth it. I'm assuming if you have 75 wood cutting, you start to get magic trees. And if you have a higher level, you probably get more and more magic tree logs. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the main. I do have 70 woodcutting on the main, so I'll show you guys the main, and I'll probably just use the same setup, but I do have higher stats, so I'll show you the stats on it. And hopefully with 70 woodcutting, we get more U logs, and hopefully the money per hour goes up. I'll go ahead and go on that now. But if this video does get 100 likes, I will grind out 75 woodcutting on the main, and I will remake this video, and I'll use the main as the alt account instead of this account and see how much money you make per hour with 75 woodcutting. So if you want to see me test that out, out, go ahead and click that like button to help us reach a hundred likes. I am now on the main and this is the setup I will be using. I only changed to the dragon axe instead of the rune axe and I now have my monkfish. I did change my gear a little bit. I now have the mythical cape instead of the Ardoin cape because it gives me better defensive bonuses and a prayer bonus I believe as well. And then the explorer's ring in case I want to use the teleport or if I need to use the energy to run away. And then we are using the whip and then my stats are on screen now. I have 96 attack, 99 strength, 93 defense, 94 range, 70 prayer, 85 magic, and 99 hit points. We also have 70 wood cutting, so that is going to give us the option to get U logs, which will make us more money per hour and hopefully make this a viable method. I guess we'll find out if it is worth it at 70 wood cutting now and with higher stats as well. But again, if you want to see this method tested out on my main with 75 wood cutting so we get magic logs, hit that like button. We will go ahead and start the timer now. And I will be back once that timer reaches an hour because that will be considered our second hour. And we'll just kind of do some math to see how much money you'd make if you did it in an actual three hour setting. We are about 51 minutes in, almost to our second hour, but the first hour with this method on my main. I'll go ahead and show you guys the loot now because I am going to bank. So I don't really think the 10 minutes is going to change a ton. So, so far, this is what we've made. We've made 60K in an hour, which again is not very good at all. We did get some bird's nests. I'll go ahead and teleport to Edgeville and then open them. And maybe we'll get some seeds that'll actually make us some good money. Okay, let me turn the camera around. So here are the bird's nests. Open them up. We got an acorn, which is worth nothing. And then a banana tree seed, which is also worth nothing. So we're not making really that much money. But I'll go up there for the final hour and we'll kind of do an average loot of what it would be like for three hours with this method and with the method we use on my alt account. Okay, I've decided to show you guys the end of the first hour. We've got about 45 seconds left, but I'm not going to be able to get a kill in that time. So here is all the loot that we've got from the first technical hour of this setup with my main, but the second hour overall. So I'm only going to do one more, but we did get 66k, so almost 67k. I think this final hour I'm going to get probably the same amount of money, but we will see. Now time for the third hour. Uh, what just happened? This guy just started attacking my ant at the same time. He only shot it like three times. And now I can't attack the ant. He's actually using the crossbow. I'm going to ask him, what is going on? Why'd you take my kill? Sad face. He doesn't answer in like two seconds, so I'm just going to go ahead and hop. Okay. <laughs> okay, fair enough. 
on the top world. We have completed the last hour. We will now teleport to the Grand Exchange, do some calculations, and see how much money we made in the three hours. We're going to do calculations for both my main account and my alt account. Now time to see how much money we made at Ents on an alt account. Okay, so on the main, we made 165 KGP in two hours. If we divide that by two for the two hours, we made around 82.5 KGP per hour, meaning we would have made almost 250k in the three hours. Now, I would definitely definitely not recommend doing ends for money with level 70 woodcutting because clearly you don't make enough money to make it worth it. If I instead did have 75 woodcutting, I probably would have made closer to the 500k plus GP the wiki says you make per hour. On the alt, I made a measly 32k GP in one hour, making it completely useless to kill ends for money with only 55 woodcutting. My final thoughts on the ends is only do them if you have 75 woodcutting and want to do a somewhat fun and random money maker while getting some okay melee and woodcutting XP at the same time. Again, Again, if you guys do want to see me test out the Ents with 75 woodcutting, this video has to get 100 likes because I really don't want to train my woodcutting. I hope you guys still enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of all over the place, but the Ents made things a little difficult. If you guys have any suggestions for another monster you want to see tested, let me know in the comments section and I will definitely test it out. In the last few videos, I have asked you guys to say a secret word in the comments section to prove that you have watched the entire video and you guys have commented them a ton and made some really funny sentences. So if you have done that before, thank you. I have enjoyed reading them a ton and I'm sure many people are confused when they read the comments. If you want to prove you watched the entire video, go ahead and comment the word woodpecker and let's confuse other viewers. If you want to talk in game, join my clan chat heart blitz and also join the discord in the description. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new. Thanks guys for watching, stay tuned for my next video.